This is a robot arm prototype number one, and it has five different ways to move. Move like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that with the claws. Uh, but it's a little small, and it's a prototype. So we made this. Now we built this over the course of many days with the help of my brother and we really just did this and nothing else. And this is the controls for it. Now there's six different things on the controls and we've labeled them one, two, and three. And we did that because this, these little sliders are the channels. So these are the receivers for the remote. So let's say this remote sends a signal to that one and we labeled them because there's different channels. So because they're all in the same remote and the same receivers, uh, let's say channel one, we wanna have this remote control the, the two main arms, but if we have these remotes on the same channel, then we can also control it with these, but we don't want that because we want these to do other things. So we labeled them, that's one, channel two, channel three. And now I can move the arm. But before we can do that, we have to turn it on. Now in order to turn it on, I made this little switch and right now it's not on, but I can press it on and that flips a little switch on the battery and it turns it on. Now I can move the arms. There's one more battery down here for the treads and okay, it's on. And we didn't have enough remote controls and receivers to remote control the base. But as you can see, it has treads. So now if I move these two switches, I can control the feet. And if I do them at the same time, I can move them and move it wherever I want to because they are in the tank formation. Now, with this remote, I want to pick up this little case, if it doesn't fall over. Now, in order to pick this up, I need to move this base, I need to rotate the whole thing, which can very easily be done by rotating this one. Now, because we don't have any cords going through, we have a separate battery on the base which powers the treads, but we didn't have any uh, motors and things going through there because there's actually the, ba the batteries in the arm itself. Now I can stop that. And now I wanna move this arm down. So in order to do that, I have these two center things and I can move this arm down, down. And there's hydraulics powering that. And I can now lift this one up, or I could, I could do that anyways. But the cool thing is these hydraulics are the same hydraulic, but not only that, they have the same gear ratio. So there's some gears in that, the ratio of the gears, so the different sizes of the gears are the exact same. And they're powered by the same motor, uh, well, the same kind of motor, so they're the same speed. And there's different speeds of motors, but, how I, the reason for that is I can do this and it moves it along at the same rate so it can do that. Just like that. But right now I want to pick this up so I'm going to rotate that. Now I want to open the claws up so I'm going to open them up like that. Now I'm going to pick it up. But actually before I do that, 
I'm going to move this arm so I can do this and I can move it down like that. So I'm going to move this up. and move it down like that. It's a little hard to control. And now I want to close it. Now, and I got the case. the end of that. Now I'm going to lift this up. And that is its highest position if I do that. There we go. And that's the highest it can go. And another thing I can do, not that, this one, is I can rotate this. And that fell. There we go. Now if I move this down, let's say to there, then I can do that kind of thing. Can I have that? Thank you. Now there's another feature that this robot arm has, and if I turn one of these on, uh, these don't actually power the robot itself, that battery is in here, but if I turn that on, it turns these lights on. And you can't really see it that well, so we're gonna show that to you in the dark. Now that we're in the dark, I can show you. If I rotate that and pull it back, you can see that there's a couple lights. There's one here and on the other side as well. And there's two of them right here. Now I wanna show you a couple more things, and that is the furthest that this can go. So if I move this down, and that's the farthest that it can go. Now I'm going to rotate this. So we can also do this. It's not, it doesn't like it as much because there's a lot of weight there. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. But now I wanna show you the shortest that it can go. And that's the shortest that it can go. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to see when we upload our next model. And thank you for watching.